a coffee device that looks like it's pooping liquid coffee, and no compromises specialty capsule coffee machine, coffee as a new concrete, nitro coffee in your home, and everything I saw last month at Melbourne's International Coffee Expo, I've got an exciting edition of What's Hot in Coffee. Let's check it out. I'm Ride Your Coffee Coach. I've got too much hotness this month to fit into one video, so I'm gonna try and cram in as much as I can. Now, I've never been a big fan of capsule coffee machines because aside from being environmentally disastrous, they don't really taste that good. However, I met with Morning Company founder, Leon Fu, and he showed me an entirely different way of viewing capsule machines for the laziest baristas. It's actually incredible. Leon Fu is a barista, a roaster, and also a processor of coffee. So he understands what it should taste like. And he's designed this morning capsule coffee machine, not only to look gorgeous, but to also have massive brains in it. In fact, all you need to do is take a photo of the capsules that you're gonna put into the machine. It then downloads the recipe as intended by the roaster so that you get the right temperature, the right extraction, the right recipe, the ratio, the pre-infusion, the ramp up, the ramp down, every little tiny variable that you would normally get in a specialty coffee machine right there. And all you need to do is plonk the capsule in, press the button, and then drink your morning coffee. It really is amazing. You'll see the full review here. You can check it out. And I really do think that this is going to be a game changer for those people looking to step into specialty coffee, but don't have the understanding or the experience to brew their own espressos at home. This is going to allow you to really take on an entire highly new view of capsule coffee machines and I'm excited what this company does from here on in. Coffee just got harder to make. Well, actually, coffee just got made harder because engineers at RMIT discovered that by adding waste of the coffee grinds into their concrete mix, they made it 30% stronger. The researchers have converted waste coffee grounds into biochar, a lightweight residue similar to that of charcoal. The process, called pyrolysis, involves heating the coffee waste to about 350 degrees Celsius and then adding it together, replacing the sand component in the concrete. And by replacing 15% of the sand, they actually noticed that it made the concrete component about 29.3% harder, stronger, and reducing the energy used to make the concrete. And just imagine how great your house smells when you wake up in the morning to a nice smell of coffee emanating from your walls. Now, before I go on, I wanna ask if you like this video and you enjoy this channel, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, help share the knowledge all around the world of YouTube so that we can really get everybody on board this amazing drink. But let's get back into what's hot in coffee. Soda streams are massive and they come in all sorts of flavors. However, what about espresso? Well, there's another kid on the block and it's called Nitro Espresso. Nitro brew has been very hard to get in people's homes, mostly because it's so expensive to get the equipment. But now a Kickstarter campaign on a product called Nitro Press DS is launching very soon and you'll be able to have Nitro brewing at your fingertips whenever you feel like. The Nitro Press DS is unique in the fact that it doesn't use a gas canister like the Soda Streams. It's cheaper to run and it's much more environmentally friendly as well. So how does it work? They use micro-filtered atmospheric air, which contains about 78% nitrogen. This combined with their patent technology allows for consistent results in every single serve. So if you want Nitro at your home, check out the link below and you can follow their Kickstarter. Well, Melbourne International Coffee Expo was a blast and there's a whole series of videos coming up, so check them out, stay tuned. They give out a lot of awards and one of the awards was for Frankie Coffee Systems, which is their machine called Mitico. Mitico is a fully super automatic machine that can basically extract four different coffees with the press of a button, depending on whatever style of coffee you want. It can even steam the own milk, or you can do a bit more of a manual brew yourself, depending on how busy you get and how much attention you want to spend on each coffee. But really, it's going to eliminate a lot of problems with consistency in a lot of cafes or hotels. And hopefully, this company really starts to develop nicer, sexier looking machines because they are a bit of a boxy machine. But I really enjoy the fact that they've made coffee machine that's going to eliminate a lot of the inconsistencies we see throughout the world of baristas. 
This might be the weirdest coffee machine that I've seen in a little while. By LG Labs, they've brought out a machine called Duobo. It's on Kickstarter now, you can check it out, but it literally looks like the lunar landing on the moon, except it's pooping coffee. And whilst I understand the mechanics behind it, because it is literally trying to extract the coffee out, I don't know, maybe the design could have used a bit of finessing because it kind of makes me not want to drink the contents that come out of the bottom of this device. Imagine your friend R2D2 pooping some coffee for you every morning and see whether that really gives you the kick to get going. Now aside from the looks, the mechanics are fairly interesting. It's a pod machine but it allows you to blend two different pods together at the perfect temperature and the ratios that you desire. So you can infinitely play with different blending options if you wanted to. Not sure if the people who are into pods are really that into creating new recipes, otherwise they'd probably disband their pods and get an espresso machine. However, for those people who want something that's a little bit unique, and I mean it's a lot unique, this is probably a perfect device for anybody who just wants to stand out. So check it out on Kickstarter now, Duobo by LG Labs. That's it for this edition of What's Hot in Coffee. I'm Ride, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.